Hello my awesome viewers, my name is Alex and this ain't just pro wrestling, this is brutality. I am feeling a little under the weather so I apologize if my voice isn't really up to par, but I'm going to power through it. The show must go on and a new episode of brutality starts right now. And like we do most of the time here on brutality, we're beginning the show with a women's match taking place here between Paige and Candice Lorette. Now, if you want to know how we got here last week on Brutality, it was a match between Asuka and Candice LeRae, that grudge match that those two women were having. Candice LeRae would win. So here tonight, she is taking on Paige, and later on tonight, we're also going to have Sasha Banks versus Nikki Cross, and the winner of that match will face the winner of this match next week to see who will go on to take on Tony Storm for the Women's Championship on the two-part season finale two weeks from tonight. So, uh, let's get this one started. David Kath calls for the bell and, well, the whistle, I should say, as we're here in Mexico. And we are underway with the first match of the evening. And what a way to start it off. Big power bomb by Paige. Good lord. That was not exactly how I expected things to begin. But, I ain't complaining, it was brutal. Now Paige with the knee to the back of Candice LeRae, and now Candice takes down Paige. Here in Brutality, this season Paige sits at a 3-2-1 record, whereas Candice LeRae is at a, let me see here, Candice LeRae right now is 2-2-1. Two, two so, both of these women have... A pretty decent record. Paige, of course, like I said, has a 3-2, and two, so she has the winning record, the better record. And we'll see if Candice LeRae can get another victory here as we get close to closing out the first season of Brutality. I can confirm that neither of these women will have to wrestle in a Loser Leaves Brutality match. That won't be the case because they have good enough records to stay in next season, so they are staying here in brutality going into next season. But the same cannot be said for Sasha Banks later on because she needs... The uh, same for Nikki, actually. Both Nikki and Sasha, they could both be gone if they don't win their match tonight and win next week to go on to face Tony Storm because if they don't, they're probably going to be in a loser leaves brutality match. Candice Ray looking for multiple pinning attempts, but it does not happen for her. Instead, she hits a neckbreaker on Paige taking her down. Surprised my voice isn't uh, crackling and 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 cutting out more than uh, uh, I expected it to. And now a big club to the back from Paige. She goes for the cover one and a kick out from Candice LeRae. You're not going to put Candice LeRae away that quickly. One, two, got a two count on Paige there with that Northern Lights suplex. Very impressive suplex and very impressive bridge by Candice LeRae. But Paige back in control again and knee to the back. Candice LeRae, though, sends Paige off the ropes. She, as well, goes off the ropes, catches her with a bulldog, taking Paige down face first into the mat. But now Paige counters into a suplex, vertical suplex, by Paige, and she quickly regains the advantage here in this one. Paige lifts her up, suplexes her all the way outside, off the ring apron. And Candice LeRae, in a bad way, early on in this match, Oh, a slap to the face from Candice and she throws Paige to the outside. Now she's looking for a count out. Giving Paige a little taste of her own medicine there. She goes for a drop kick, but Paige caught her with a big boot in midair. That was brutal. Somehow Candice, though, gets out of it. Goes for the cover. One, two, no. A kick out. Candice Ray, of course, won the Fatal 4-Way match that got her a shot against Tony Storm at the last pay-per-view, No Fucks Given with a very similar move to what she did to Paige there, but it did not get the job done here tonight. Knees to the midsection. And now they lock up. Paige gets us off the rope again. Here we go one more time. But Paige immediately able to kick out. Action fast and furious and crazy here to begin our night. And also tonight, we're going to have a big match for Adam Cole. He right now sits at 0-2. He'll be taking on Minoru Suzuki. And the loser of that match could very well be in a loser leaves brutality match. So both Suzuki and Cole really need to get a win tonight 
if they want to stay here in brutality going into season two. But look at this! The page turner. No, not the page turner. The rampage. One, two, and no. A kick out from Candace. Big punch to the head of Candace and a slap to the face. These two ladies bringing out the best in each other here tonight. Paige gets the advantage. She goes to the top rope and leaps off of an elbow drop. But Candice Ray got out of the way at the very last millisecond, it seemed like. She just saved herself. Throws Paige to the outside. And now poses as Paige regains her, her consciousness there on the outside. I think she was out for a second when her head hit off the, the floor out there. Big lariat from Paige, though. Takes Candice down. Goes behind. Elbow to the face by Candice LeRae. And she's fired up. Big drop kick. Takes down Paige. Both women down here as we n get near the 10 minute mark in this 20 minute time limit match. Goes for a lariat, does Candice, but it misses. Paige went for a kick, that missed as well. Goes for a lariat, that misses. Candice Ray connects with a kick to the midsection, goes for a pin. Paige moves out of the way. And with a little bit of cockiness there. Now she goes off the ropes, catches Candice with another lariat. And an elbow drop across the chest. Neither of these women can get the advantage over the other completely. Pretty much a stalemate here as they both try for strikes and maneuvers. Big clothesline again from Paige. Another elbow drop. She lifts up Candice LeRae. Goes behind. Sends Candice off the ropes. Catches her with a spine buster. Double A like. Big punch to the face of Candice LeRae and it drops her down to the mat. Paige is in control. But as I say that, Candice LeRae hits an elbow to the face of Paige. Paige though with the chop again and again and again. Brutal chops to the chest by Paige. She climbs to the top. She leaps off, dropping the knee onto the midsection of Candice Ray. But somehow Candice Ray's up first. I think Paige might have injured her leg off that top rope maneuver. And that allowed Candice to get up first. But look at this. Candice out of nowhere with a pin. One, two, no. A kick out from Paige. That was almost the end. I thought it was over. Now these two ladies, again, looking for the advantage over the other. Dodging each other's strikes. Paige lifts her up, takes her down with that vertical suplex. Now Paige brings her up to her feet again. But she gets another Hurricane Rana into another cover. One, two, no, barely. Candice LeRae almost got the job done. Paige barely was able to kick out there. Big headbutts repeatedly to the head of Candice LeRae. This is savagery at its finest. By Paige here tonight. Paige gets hands off the ropes. Big, beautiful drop kick from Candice Ray. She did a full flip in the air. That was gorgeous. Paige gets sent into the corner. Lorraine walks into the corner, but she instead gets sent into the corner by Paige. A roll up here by Paige. One, two. Is it over? No. Candice Ray kicked out again. They're breaking out all the stops here tonight. DDT to Paige. Now Paige though got the shoulder. Working on the shoulder of Candice LeRae. She takes up the shoulder. Candice can't hit her finishing maneuver off the top rope. Oh, punch to the midsection though by Candice LeRae. But Paige catches her into the rampage. And Candice LeRae is out cold. This one is over. Paige gets the win. She moves up to 4-2. and two, Whereas Candice LeRae go to, goes down to 2-3. and three. And it looks to me like Paige, well, it doesn't look to me, it's, it's obvious Paige next week will face either Sasha Banks or Nikki Cross to see who faces Tony Storm. But now it's time for tag team action. Don't go away. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a match between DIY and the Undisputed Era. This one, ladies and gentlemen, will be... A fantastic match, I can already guarantee you that. And if you want to know how we got here, DIY defeated The Bar two weeks ago. And so here tonight, they will take on the Undisputed Era. The winner of this match will take on Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson next week to see who faces Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn on the two-part season finale. And how that season finale is going to work is the first part is going to be four, maybe five, loser leaves brutality matches. And the second part will be the championship matches. Of course, the women's championship, tag team championship, 
and eight man rumble match for the world championship will be in the second part both parts though will be uploaded on the same day so you won't have to wait too long it's just that i need to split the parts because i can't upload videos longer than an hour so here we go with this match as Tommaso Ciampa and Bobby Fish start us out in this one. Ciampa quickly takes down Bobby Fish down to the mat. And now, oh, he gets powerbombed similar to what we saw earlier with Paige and Candice LeRae at the start of their match. And uh, uh, a kick out though here. So the match continues on. Not going to end that quickly between these two world class teams. Two of the best in the world, maybe the two best in the world. And now. Big chop to the chest, maybe the throat of Bobby Fish, and he gets taken down by Tommaso Ciampa. He tags out to his partner, Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano. Off the ropes he goes, goes for a clothesline, but it was ducked by Bobby Fish. Now Ciampa of the elbow to the arm of Fish, and Fish tags out to Kyle O'Reilly. Now O'Reilly and Fish take down Johnny Gargano as he falls to the outside near Roderick Strong. And now count of five. By the referee, six, seven, getting close to that 20 count. If neither men can get back into the ring, then this one will end in a draw, but they get back into the ring. 30 minute time limit, as we have for most of our tag team matches, if not all of our tag team matches, well, besides uh, championship matches here, and brutality, as the tag team matches tend to go on the longest here. Uh, most go between 20 to 30 minutes, and it's always a banger when two teams like this go at it in the brutality ring. Look at this. Speaking of going at it, Johnny Gargano and Kyle O'Reilly bringing the pain to one another, but Johnny Gargano falls to the mat, gets kicked in the back of the head by O'Reilly, and Gargano's had enough. He's like, I'm just tagging in my partner. Tommaso is in. He is the legal man. He slams Kyle O'Reilly down to the mat, picks him right back up, though. And now O'Reilly, though, able to escape, tags out. To his partner Fish. And now he takes down Ciampa, giving Fish the advantage here. But, oh, never mind. Hurricane Rana there by Ciampa, and that's something we see very often out of him. You know, submission hold applied, but Bobby Fish able to get out of it. Sorry for sniffling there. As I said at the beginning of the show, I am suffering through a cold. But, like I said, the show must go on. Brutality can't be forgotten about. And Bobby Fish. With a kick to the leg of Ciampa and a second body slam. Now an elbow drop. Great combination so far here by Bobby Fish in this match. A couple of them. And now back into that submission hold by Ciampa. But he's able to get out of it one more time. Now Ciampa almost broke the arm. Maybe did break the arm of Bobby Fish. Now look at this. Neither man wanting to fall down. But Ciampa was the one to hit the mat first. Off the ropes goes Fish, catches him with, it looked like a drop kick. I'm not completely sure, he might not have got all of that. Ciampa able to kick, uh, get over to his corner and tag out to Johnny Gargano. Mr. Johnny Wrestling gets taken down though. And now Bobby Fish tags back out to Kyle O'Reilly. Gargano takes down both men. Very impressive by Gargano to take down two great strikers, two great technical athletes in Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. But O'Reilly gets the advantage over... Johnny Gargano. Now he locks up. Gargano though takes him down with a body slam into the cover. Kick out. Not even a one count for O'Reilly. He's not going to give up that easily. Of course, uh, at the start of Brutality at the No Fucks Given pay-per-view, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish won the Tag Team Championships before dropping them to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. So they want another shot at those titles. Just like Earlier today with Candice Array and Paige, two women who have both fought Tony Storm, one of them, or I should say Candice, I, we know that, or I, I mean Paige, I should say, won that match. You know, Paige definitely looking for redemption against Tony Storm, and we'll see if she can get it. Now, Bobby Fish and O'Reilly off the roast. Fish catches Johnny Gargano on the jaw with a knee, it looked like. And now he takes Johnny Gargano down in a kick to the hamstring, and again, really working on the legs of Gargano. He goes for an enziguri, but Gargano. Gargano moves out of the way, tags out to Ciampa, double team, vertical suplex, takes down Bobby Fish, and now another t uh, double team suplex, takes him down again, really working hard to take down Bobby Fish, but it hasn't yet as he takes down Ciampa, now with a side headlock, Ciampa able to get out of it, able to knee 
Bobby Fish in the back of the head to escape the hold. And now Ciampa gets sent off the ropes, knocking O'Reilly down, but Ciampa gets taken down by Bobby Fish. Tag out to Kyle O'Reilly. He comes in, gets a headlock for his troubles, but Bobby Fish able to break it up. Now Fish gets caught with a white noise, an air raid crash, whatever you want to call it. Chomp fights off Kyle O'Reilly, goes behind. Nope, instead goes for a cover. Right in front of Roderick Strong and Bobby Fish, but it's only a one count. Now Chompa able to counter with the back elbow, tags out to Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Wrestling gets taken down by Kyle O'Reilly with that leg sweep. And now, oh, he gets a shot right in the balls from Jabba into the Gargano escape. Is that going to be it? What a humiliating loss that would be for Kyle O'Reilly in the Unspeeded Era, but he was able to get out of it, thankfully for him. Now he tags back out to his partner, Bobby Fish. And they work together. Double elimination to Johnny Gargano. Elbow drop to the face, knee drop to the midsection. Oh, power bomb to Gargano. He went for her and run. It did not work out. One, two, kick out. <laughs> Lord, I made a rhyme there and I didn't even mean to. Kyle O'Reilly gets taken down by Johnny Gargano. Now, oh, big kick misses. Gargano tags off to Ciampa. Now Ciampa and Fish are your legal men in this one. Fish takes him down with his side headlock. Is he going to give up? No. Ciampa again with that knee to the back of the head, getting himself out of that hold. And now works on the arms. Uh, Bobby Fish goes for the cover. One. No, only a one count. Before a kick out. Um, Bobby Fish. Oh, look at that. Bobby Fish and, and Ciampa ran right into each other. But Ciampa gets taken down with that enzigiri from Bobby Fish. He looked for that earlier and Ciampa was able to avoid it. But here, it did not. Or uh, he did not, I should say. Leg drop to the back of the head of Ciampa by Kyle O'Reilly. He looks take out O'Reilly is O'Reilly not even the legal men right now now Gargano gets tagged in all four men in the ring right now but Kyle O'Reilly backs away he's like no I don't want none of this oh because Bobby Fish takes down both men on his own very impressive Kyle O'Reilly was tagged in Gargano took both men down look at this Gargano and O'Reilly exchanging strikes on the brutality logo and surprisingly, the man who's not a prominently a prominent striker here in Brutality takes out a prominent striker in Kyle O'Reilly. Elbow to the arm of him. And oh, look at that! Double in Zagiri from Ciampa and Gargano. Now Gargano, or I should say Ciampa, drives the head of Kyle O'Reilly into the mat with the air raid crash, but O'Reilly counters. Cross-legged Fisherman Driver. The tag to Bobby Fish. Things are looking up. For Undisputed Era, the kick to the back of the head connects. Now, on a, a knee bar applied to Ciampa. If he taps out here, it wouldn't count, though, because Kyle O'Reilly is not the legal man now. Ciampa and Fish trading slaps and punches to the face. These two men don't give a damn about each other's well-being. Now, again, Ciampa trying to twist the head off of Bobby Fish's body, but... It was broken up by Kyle O'Reilly. He gets taken down from Gar by Gargano. Big knee to the face of Ciampa by Bobby Fish. But Ciampa now able to counter here. Body slam. And now he tags out to Johnny Gargano. This match is definitely kicked into third gear. By this point, Ciampa's fired up. Gargano's fired up, and he gets elbowed in the face and a big spinning kick right to the head. Both men down, but Gargano gets up first. Another kick to the head. Ends of Gary that time. Step up variant. And now he tags out to Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, Gargano takes down Fish. I don't know if he knows that Kyle O'Reilly is the legal man. Kyle takes down Gargano. Oh, kick right to the knee. O'Reilly is so brutal with these kicks. One to the back of the head now. And an uppercut to the face of Gargano. Goes behind Gargano. Instead switches to the front. Gets ddt for his efforts though. And he is down and out as Gargano tags out to his partner Ciampa. Gargano locks up with O'Reilly. O'Reilly though with an uppercut. O'Reilly though gets taken down by Ciampa. Though O'Reilly takes down Ciampa. Now O'Reilly's a little wobbly. Ciampa up first. And he goes for a kick. It does not connect. And now they lock up with Ciampa. Does both O'Reilly and Fish. <laughs> I'm having a hard time calling this with my throat. It is hurting so bad. 
I'm fumbling over my words. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm trying my hardest, guys. I hope it's not too bad. Now Ciampa and Fish on the outside. A referee count of 10, 11. They need to get back in the ring quickly. 13, 14. This might end in count out. Ciampa back in the ring and Fish back in the ring at 17. Good Lord, what a match. Now look at this. He's trying to break his arm. He's trying to break it off of his body. And Kyle O'Reilly able to break it up, saving his partner. Now O'Reilly sends Ciampa off the ropes. David Kath is down. His head might be busted open as well. Big boot from Ciampa. Catches O'Reilly. Or I should say Fish takes him down. And now he's trying to rip the arm off again. Wait a second. Wait, is, is, is Bobby alright? He's not moving. David Kath checks him. Yeah, he's done. This one's over. The referee calls for the bell. And I believe... Am I correct? Yes! DIY are your winners by TKO. And they will go on to face Gallows and Anderson next week. What an interesting way to end that match. Did not expect that at all. Now it's time for Adam Cole and Minoru Suzuki to throw down. And throw down they shall. Whatever that means. I guess just beat the shit out of each other. That's what they're hoping to do here tonight. At least Suzuki, he always is looking forward to beating the shit out of somebody. Here is Adam Cole. Adam Cole really needs a win, but Suzuki needs a win as well. Cole is 0 for 2, 0 and 2 though, here in Brutality, whereas Minoru Suzuki sits at 1 and 2. So Suzuki has the better record, but in the grand scheme of things, both men are very close to being eliminated from Brutality. So they both need a win. If Suzuki wins, I think, I believe, he should be good. I don't think he would be in a loser lose match. But if Adam Cole loses, then he is really in serious trouble and definitely will be having a loser leaves brutality match. So here we go. The whistle sounds and we are underway. Suzuki and Cole, a match that I'm not sure has ever even happened in the real world. And here in Brutality, it certain has, certainly hasn't. Suzuki sends Cole into the corner. It's going to be interesting to see how their styles clash tonight. Of course, Adam Cole, a, uh, a conniving mastermind when it comes to uh, cheating and doing whatever he can to get the win. Whereas Suzuki just, like I said in his entrance, likes to beat the shit out of people. And he doesn't care what anyone thinks. He will knock you out just for looking at him funny. Now Suzuki goes behind, gets caught with an elbow by Cole. Suzuki sends Cole into the corner, but Cole able to get out of it. Cole sent off the ropes, off the ropes goes Suzuki, big drop kick. Takes down Adam Cole, and now they lock up. And over Suzuki with a knee to the midsection of Cole. Cole takes down Suzuki. Now Cole bringing him to the center of the ring right on the Brutality Pro Wrestling Federation logo. And look at this, a stalemate here. Both men trying to gain the advantage over the other. Both men trying to be careful and make sure they get a win here tonight. Oh, look at this. These two men, these two warriors bringing it to each other right to the face. But Suzuki, surprisingly, was the one who dropped first. I don't know how smart of an idea it is to get into a striking battle with Suzuki as he's just laying in these forearms to Adam Cole here tonight. And oh, what a neckbreaker, hangman style neckbreaker. Really just giving him whiplash. Big super kick. Speaking of whiplash, one, two, kick out from Minoru Suzuki at two. That was much closer than I expected a cover to be on Suzuki this early in the match. I think Cole really caught him off guard with that super kick. Now Suzuki goes behind, elbow to the face from Adam Cole. Another super kick takes him down. Another cover by Adam Cole. You can see the desperation. And a kick out from Minoru Suzuki. Suzuki though, with a knee to the midsection. And now look at this, sleeper hold. One of his patented maneuvers. But Adam Cole able to get out of it. Cole with the forearm to the face. Now he climbs to the top row, believes with a frog splash. Breaking out all the stops here tonight. One, two, and no. Cole gets sent off the ropes. Suzuki goes off the ropes as well. Catches him with a big boot to the face. Now Suzuki. Uh-oh. Here we go. Gotch. Pile driver. 
This one's over already. One, two, three. No! Cole kicked out of the pile driver, the God style pile driver that hardly anyone has ever kicked out of. Cole is among the names to kick out of it. Suzuki doesn't know what else to do. He's had he's hit the sleeper. He's hit the pile driver. Neither move has taken down or taken out Adam Cole. Now the armbar applied by Suzuki. Is Cole gonna tap? No, he's able to get out of it again. Another hangman style neckbreaker. And now he climbs up to the top rope again. An elbow drop this time from Adam Cole. Stomp to the back of the leg. Catches Suzuki up on his shoulders. Ushika Roshi dropping the head on the knee. Forearm takes Suzuki down. Suzuki had a big win over John Moxley at the No Fucks Given pay-per-view. And I expected him to be doing a little better in this match after gaining that momentum. But he might have just won it here with that PK. Kick out from Cole, though, at two. And Adam Cole really looking a lot better than he had in his last few matches here in Brutality. But as I say that, he gets knocked out cold by Minoru Suzuki. Minoru goes behind, elbow to the face from Adam Cole. Suzuki catches him with a knee to the midsection. Now, look at this combination to the face. Bomb strikes repeatedly to Adam Cole, but Adam Cole counters, puts Minoru Suzuki up top. What's he looking for here? Going for the superplex. Both men are down after that one. Suzuki, though, he gets up first, but he's a little wobbly. Cole up now. Super kick. The cover. One, two. He kicked out. David Kalf was right there, had great positioning, and Minoru Suzuki kicked out at 2.9. Larry in the corner. Cole sends Minoru Suzuki into the other corner. Now look at this, driving the shoulder into the midsection, spearing Suzuki repeatedly. He climbs up, elbow drop to the back of Suzuki. But Suzuki catches him into a DDT, into a guillotine. My God, is this going to be it? No, Cole gets out of it again. Now look at this. Oh, Suzuki counters into an armbar. My God, what a match. Cole able to get out of it somehow, some way. And Cole drops Suzuki head first on the apron. He goes off the ropes, over the ropes, diving onto Suzuki. Now Cole gets taken down by Suzuki. My God, each man breaking out, bringing out everything in their arsenals even stuff they've never done before to try and get the victory over the other. Ushika Roshi again. Cole lifts him up one more time. Big punch to the face, but Suzuki counters with a forearm. And these two men bringing it to each other here tonight. Super kick from Adam Cole. Suzuki back up. Drop kick. Both men are down. My God. This might go down as one of the best matches of the season. Forearms repeated from Suzuki. Adam Cole still didn't go down. Big kick to the back of the head. That takes him down to the mat. Off the ropes again. Drop kick to the back. Goes for a kick, but it's countered by Adam Cole. Another super kick to the face. One, two, three. Adam Cole did it. He did it, baby. And he tells Minoru Suzuki and all of his doubters to suck it. Wow. What a match. Super kick after super kick after super kick. And finally, Adam Cole was able to get his first win in brutality. And Minoru Suzuki has dropped down to 1 and 3. We will, we will have to see exactly how this is going to go with these men. If they're going to have a loser lose match or not. But now, it's time for our main event. Sasha Banks versus Nikki Cross. Time for your main event of the evening as Sasha Banks, who sits at 0-2-1, will battle the 1-2 Nikki Cross. So it seems that both of these women are in hot doo-doo water right now in brutality when it comes to their records. But the thing is, if either of these women can make it to the number one contenders match and win that match and go on to face Tony Storm, they will be safe. So if that happens, they will be safe. But if, if neither win, a woman can beat Candice or uh, I should say Paige in the uh, 
and more contenders match next week, then that's when they will have to worry. But right now, one of these women will get a chance to continue their career of brutality, whereas the other will definitely be in a loser leaves match. Now Nikki got taken down, Sasha off the ropes, PK, looks like she caught the knee in the face of Nikki Cross, but the crazed insane Cross able to get back up and she gets taken down again, now a half Boston Crab by the Boston native, Nikki Cross again able to escape, Cross looked for a punch, did not connect, she gets taken down with a sidewalk slam by Sasha, and now has the knee again, has the leg stretched in that Boston Crab. Nikki was able to escape again. Big punch to the face from Sasha takes Nikki down with a DDT and again has the submission hold applied. And looks to me like Nikki was smiling. She didn't care. Big punch to the face of Sasha Banks goes behind. Punches to the back of the head. The referee coming over to ask Sasha if she wanted to give up there. That would have been a very humiliating loss for Sasha Banks to quit so early in the match. Luckily for her, she was able to counter. But she gets slammed down by her hair onto the mat and an elbow drop to the face from Nikki Cross. Nikki, though, sent into the corner. She gets out of the corner. Uppercut. My God, takes down Sasha Banks. Some brutal strikes from both women here so far. The uppercuts from both women have been brutal. And now Nikki sends Sasha off the rope. Sasha, though, she caught herself on the rope, stopping her momentum. She gets taken down again, though, by Nikki Cross. Now they lock up another uppercut from Cross takes down Sasha again. She goes for the cover, not a one count though, before Sasha Banks is able to kick out and apply the Boston Crab again. David Gaff asking Nikki Cross if she wanted to give up. She did not. Now Sasha Banks takes her down with a forearm, goes off the ropes, leaving elbow drop. A lot of momentum behind that one. And now look at this though. My god, Rikishi driver! That could be it. Sasha's head hit the mat hard. But she kicks out at one. Sasha takes her down with a clothesline slash neckbreaker. Kind of a, a uh, combination of both at the same time. Now Sasha sends Nikki off the ropes. Tilt to whirl. Slamming her down face first off the ropes. Another elbow drop. This time to the back of the head. Now Sasha goes for a kick. It missed. Nikki punches to the midsection. Take Sasha Banks down. She could have broke a rib of the boss there. Now big punch to the face by Sasha. Now Nikki Cross goes behind, catches her, takes her down with the back suplex there. Both women down, both women back up though. Oh, repeated headbutts by Nikki Cross to Sasha Banks, taking her down with an elbow drop now. Oh, look at this. Repeated palm strikes by Sasha Banks. Slaps, if you will. Now punches to the back of the head by Nikki. This match is just a, an absolute brawl here so far, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see blood in this one. Neckbreaker there by Nikki Cross, so she shouted we as she had some fun with that one. Now Nikki gets sent off the ropes, Sasha goes off the ropes as well, they collide. Neither woman able to get at the advantage there. Takes her down with a neckbreaker, and both women down. Sasha though gets caught! I believe she calls that the Twisted Sister, one, two, no! Sasha was able to kick out. Oh, drives the head of Sasha into her knee. Now, they lock up. Sasha sends her off the ropes. Catches her with a drop kick. Nicely done. And now, Sasha locks up with Nikki. Nikki, though, able to, or I should say Sasha, able to get out of it. Sends Nikki off the ropes. Goes behind. Backstabber. And you know what? She follows that up with the bank statement locked in. This one's over. You can put it on the board. No. Nikki Cross was able to get out of it. I thought for sure the bank statement would end this one. Frog Splash off the top rope paying homage to her favorite wrestler of all time, Eddie Guerrero. But it did not get the job done. Big punch to the face from Sasha Bank. Big headbutts from Nikki Cross. Now stopping 
on every limb, every part of the body. Oh, Sasha Banks grabs her head into the mat again. Good lord. Sasha Banks might seriously injure her neck in this one, but both women are wobbly. Nikki thinks it's funny. She's having fun with this match. Big elbow to the back of the head. Drops the headbutt on the back of Sasha Banks. Another headbutt. Get your Sasha with a knee right to the jaw. Sasha might be out cold. She's not moving. Good lord, that was brutal. Sasha, though, able to regain her consciousness. It's elbowed in the back by Nikki Cross. Now a stomp to the back, driving the knee into the mat, and another headbutt. Nikki Cross with the most unconventional, unusual offense, but it works for her. Big knee in the corner by Sasha Banks. Nikki Cross, though, takes Sasha to the center of the ring, elbow to the back. And Nikki's having more fun as she continues to inflict punishment on her opponent tonight. Nikki, much like Minoru Suzuki, really enjoys punishing others. And I think she enjoys getting punished herself. Punches to the face of Sasha Banks. Is Sasha going to pass out? Is she going to have to give up? But no. Sasha able to get out of it. She adjusts her wrist tape as if to say, I'm ready for more. Big Lariat. To Nikki Cross goes for another one. Nikki ducked it, but she gets caught in the head of a punch. She misses that Larry does Sasha Banks, and she gets driven face first into Nikki's knee. Now Nikki with the repeated stomps again. Sasha sends her off the ropes. She too goes off the ropes. A big tilt to whirl. Bulldog it looked like. And now Sasha off the ropes again. Palm strike, double palm strike to the back of the head. Now punch to the head by Sasha Banks. Nikki Cross goes behind. Elbow to the face from Sasha. Uppercut from Nikki. And another stomp. And again, just repeatedly stomping a mud hole. And Sasha Banks. Sasha sends her off the ropes. Goes behind. Nikki Cross standing switch. Reverse DDT. And Nikki screaming. She's fired up. Off the rope she goes. Wee! Into the crossbody! No! <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, look at this. Rikishi Driver. The third of the match. Come on, Nikki. Go for the pin. One. Two. Three. No, Sasha kicked out. If Nikki would have went for the pin earlier, she might have gotten the job done. Goes for the reverse DDT. It's countered by Sasha. She climbs to the top rope. The frog splash again. One. Two. Three. The boss has done it. My God, what a match. Good Lord, what a main event. 100% match evaluation. Good Lord, and it's confirmed. Sasha Banks will face Paige next week to see who takes on Tony Storm. Thank you for watching another edition, another very exciting edition of Brutality. And I have been Alex. Thank you again for watching. Please like the video, subscribe, and comment your thoughts. I will see you later.